How's it going everyone and welcome to the show. I'm your host, Mike Stark, and on today's video, I thought I'd like to talk to you all about a movie that I watched last night for the first time. And the movie title is titled Big George Foreman. But if you want the full title, the full title is Big George Foreman, The Miraculous Story of the Once and Future Champion of the World. Say that three times fast. But yes, I watched this movie last night. And to be honest, it was a really well-made movie. Very different from a lot of the other boxing movies that I've seen. And for those of you who don't know who George Foreman is, he was once the heavyweight champion of the world. He lost to Muhammad Ali, who was considered one of the greatest boxers of all time. And then George Foreman found God, he retired, and then he went back into boxing. I think he was 45, if I'm not mistaken. And he actually won the heavyweight title for the second time. And he's the oldest person in history, or oldest boxer in history, to ever win the heavyweight title at that age. Um, and he's the uh, second wealthiest boxer of all time, second to Floyd Mayweather Jr. <laughs> but yeah, this is a great movie. It's directed by George Tillman Jr. The story is also by George Tillman Jr. And the screenplay is also by him as well. Uh, George Tillman Jr. made such films as Notorious, Soul Food, a lot of great movies that I've actually seen in the past. He's a well-established filmmaker, director, writer. He makes good movies, let's just put it like that. Uh, but yes, this stars Chris Davis as Big George Foreman and Forrest Whitaker as Doc Brodus, uh, a counsellor who actually discovered George Foreman and taught him how to box. But, uh, okay... I'll give you all the synopsis of this movie. I'm going to break this synopsis down into three parts and then I'll give you my overall rating of the movie as a whole once I finish my synopsis. But the film opens up in the 60s where it shows George Foreman, his childhood, uh, how he grew up in the suburbs, really poor, and it shows his family. They weren't able to eat food like everybody else. They had to ration their portions and uh, George Foreman was always a hungry kid. He was a big kid growing up. And it shows how he was bullied at school, wasn't able to afford lunch at school like everybody else. He would see all the other kids eating their food and he would just stare at them, which actually got him into his first fight, where he beat up another kid for calling him Poorman instead of George Foreman. And then from there, uh, he goes to this school when he's older, this school for disadvantaged kids. And he's learning a trade there when one day this kid steals his Converse Chuck Taylors. And he finds the kid and then Forrest Whitaker comes and breaks up the fight because George Foreman chases him uh, to his room, punches a hole through his door. It's quite over the top, but I'm guessing this is what really happened. And then Forrest Whitaker breaks up the fight and notices this guy's got some power teaches him how to fight and then yeah and then George Foreman becomes a really good boxer he wins over 20 30 fights and then he gets a shot at the the world title he wins he becomes a heavyweight champ and then from there he becomes really rich and famous and it shows how he how he gets married and uh, yeah. Then from there he boxes Muhammad Ali and Muhammad Ali beats him. From there, George Foreman has a near death experience and that's where the first act ends. So the second act is George Foreman. He becomes a born again Christian and finds God and. Gives his life to God, gets baptized, and uh, yeah, then he just he does he gives a lot back to the community. He builds a YMCA, like a recreational center for disadvantaged kids, a boxing center with a boxing ring in his old neighborhood, and yeah, he gives a lot back to the community. But he wants another shot at Muhammad Ali, and then Muhammad Ali then then he doesn't get the shot. But then Muhammad Ali wants a shot at him and tells him, box this guy, if you beat him once, you'll get a shot at me. But then he says, no, I've retired from boxing, I've given my life to God. 
And that's pretty much the second act. And then the third act, he comes out of retirement as a boxer and starts training again as an older man. I think he's 45. And then he ends up uh, winning the uh, heavyweight title again, uh, coming out of retirement as this old man. But it, do it shows that doesn't matter how old you are, it shows that if you're talented and you work hard, that you can do anything with your life. And George Foreman did that. And yeah, that's what the film is essentially in a nutshell. But throughout the film, you do see a lot of his family life, a lot of his boxing life, and then his life for God. And then the third act is pretty much coming out of retirement into boxing. And you also do see how George Foreman went from a boxer to selling... Um, the George Foreman grill, the electronic grill that everybody knows today as the George Foreman grill. And that's what made him so wealthy, even more than I would say his boxing career, because even to this day, it is a number one seller. And the George Foreman grill is a very handy appliance to have in your home. And I even have one myself that a friend gave to me. It is very good. And yeah, definitely George Foreman made a big impact to the sport of boxing. He was considered as one of, one of the heaviest hitters in the history of boxing. And definitely, this is a film that everybody should watch. But I'm going to wrap this video up here with my overall rating of this film. And I give it a 9 out of 10. Different boxing film. I love the way they made it. It wasn't just your average boxing film, the underdog story, or the boxing film. It was different. It was... I could compare it to Rocky, how Rocky was a love story, but it was a boxing film. This was George Foreman's life, made into a biopic, a movie, very, very well done. 9 out of 10. Love this movie. And yeah, that's about it for this video, everyone. So thank you all for watching. If you'd like this video, give it a thumbs up, click it down below, any questions you may have, and subscribe if you haven't. But if you have subscribed, to this channel. And yeah, without further ado, this video is done. I'm Mike Star signing off, saying have a good night, and I'll see you all in my next video, everyone. See ya! That funny little grill deal you signed is starting to generate some substantial checks. Really? Now I'm just surprised it shows a big old fat guy like me to sell a beer to help people get lean. <laughs>